I've been challenged and I've been challenged with a good one. The competition is tough and here's why. My name is Emilio. I'm also known as a meat dealer. I've been in the meat industry for over 15 years. I know how to cook meat. Google stand, no chance. And if you beat me, you get free Wagyu for a year. It's one year Wagyu supply for free. So I have to make sure I win because I don't want to put my name on it. I also brought a secret weapon. I'm the meat don, also known as the secret weapon. I know how to cook a steak like the back of my hand. Google was a baby when I was already cooking my steaks. Listen, I didn't come to play. There's oh, a shit. lot at stake right now. Oh, shit. All right? Because Emilio was offering you Wagyu yeah. for a year. Yeah. But if you win, I'm offering it for life. Here are the rules. We're going to have three different types of meat. Cheap meat, medium meat, expensive meat. It doesn't matter what kind of meat it is. Bring it on. Rule number two, the method of cooking is gonna be challenging. This is what we got. We got the oven, we got the charcoal grill, we got a wok, a smoker, pizza oven, gas grill, sous vide, a drum smoker, an induction cooker, and finally, a microwave. That's to warm up food, man. <laughs> and we're gonna have your daughter pick the method so you don't say I cheated. Sounds good. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Wow, charcoal for real? Yes. Wow! Pizza oven? Oh. <laughs> oh man! Let's see, what is this? Oh wow! Uh, what the heck am I gonna do with this? You better cook it right, you know what I mean? Listen, this is gonna be a masterpiece at the end. I'm just gonna be making a Korean style marinade. I'm gonna score the fat for now. I just add a little bit of soy sauce right here with all these other ingredients. That's what I'm talking about. I gotta season the picanha properly. Looks nice, Emilio. Thank you, sir. So I got my short ribs ready. I'm just gonna let it marinate for a little bit. And uh, Emilio, looks like you are gonna go outside, yeah? Let the best man win. We're getting the grill going. We had a little bit of a sabotage here. They didn't have it ready. But hey, we're playing on their turf. Got the pizza oven ready. I am going to preheat this thing because honestly, I've never cooked short ribs on a pizza oven. So we're getting a little bit of support from Google's team. Come on, bro, get it going. Pizza oven is now preheating. I think I'm gonna get a cast iron to get at least a little bit of a sear. First, sear, boom, get a nice golden brown. Back into the oven it goes. Take it out, we let it rest a little bit, then slice, we pull it out. This is why you need some good gloves, everybody. Oh, we get, oh, yes, 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 yes. Flip, 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 back into the oven it goes. Sear quick, boom. It's not very smart with hot oil, extremely hot directly from, wow. Yo, that does not look that bad. That's looking good to me. Now we're gonna go inside and slice. I mean, take a look at this, everybody. It looks pretty nice. I gotta be honest with you. I'm actually proud of this thing. What are you doing? You're eating this? We got a plate. I'm hungry. What do you want? Our dish is done. There's no way we're losing. It looks like we're starting with the Korean food. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Mm. Oh, that's good. Very soft. Super tender. I like the flavor on it. No, the yeah. marinade's perfect. Yeah. As a boost of flavor, it's good. All right, enough, guys. Let's stop eating this one and let's try this next one. This is a lot more volume of food, which for me is a plus. Cheers. 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 <laughs> wow. Now that is tasty. The steak is perfectly cooked. It's an overall more delicious bite. You have the rice, you have sauteed peppers that I don't know about you guys, but I'm also getting a little sweet and a little bit of kick from them too. I mean, come on, it's picanha, dude. Like It was executed. Perfectly. Guys. Let's pick a winner. Angel. The queen, bro. Kate. Picanha. Guys, I'm gonna have to also go with the picanha. Oh. Yeah. Peter Don one, Guga zero. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see what we got for you guys, and it is. Wow, the smoker. It's not bad. I know how to use that. <laughs> Let's see what we got. A wok burner. <laughs> That's you. All right. Big, oh, ho, ho, let's go, papa. <laughs> I mean, take a look at my tomahawks, everybody. There's no way I'm gonna lose this one. All right, so Emilio, we're gonna season the potatoes. Olive oil, garlic paste. Wow, I love how they start with the side dish first. Black pepper over here. A Little bit of uh, cayenne pepper, so we get a little heat. Paprika, so we add some color. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. So you need. This is gonna go in the oven, and now let's take care of the steak. Put a good amount of salt, let's crust these babies out. Some pepper on them. A little bit of garlic. Safe A. Whoa, it looked like you have a heavy hand there, my friend. You're all right, my friend. Huh? 
We're not making garlic bread, guys. Just want to give you that yeah. idea. Yo, that's a heavy hand, boy. <laughs> Into the smoker. I'm such a nice guy that I'm going to put Emilio's uh, potato to cook. Nice guy, right? Let's give this a try. A little bit of oil, nice and hot. See if we got a nice crust. Not the best crust I ever got, but hey, little by little. Let's check on the potatoes. Honestly, it's looking a lot better than I expected. Now I'm gonna try to transform this wok into an oven. I'm putting it at the lowest heat setting right now. It's gonna cover the whole thing. They're looking good, so back in. They want a side dish, they'll get it. So for this one here, I got fully cooked rice. Emilio, hurry up, give me the grill gun, he's not looking. I'm gonna add a little bit of sushi vinegar and I wanna break everything up. To finish it up, QP mayo, sriracha, and furikake. And now we plate. And that right there will be any potato. Steaks are done, let's go inside. My tomahawk is coming to temperature. I'm already letting it rest, but I wanna make a little compound butter. Not bad, smoker. That's a nice crust on there. Let's slice. Butter goes in, we're gonna melt this butter. Let's take the filet out, come right near the bone. Now we're gonna take out the strip. My butter is nice and melted. Now I'm gonna throw in some garlic and thyme. Come right near the bone. All I'm trying to do is infuse these flavors into the butter. Strip is out. One of my favorite ingredients, gochujang. Now we slice. I'm just gonna cook these garlics and get a little bit of color on them. And this is my take on smoked porterhouse. It's nice and juicy, exactly what I was looking for. Honestly, it's a nice crust. Hopefully it's gonna be medium rare, let's see. And to finish it up, I'm gonna add this beautiful butter right on top. Round two, everybody. Uh, let's start over here. I like, I like this steak and yeah. potatoes. You can't go wrong with that. Cheers. Mmm, that's gonna be tough to beat. Wow. Those potatoes have so much flavor. It's super tender so far. There's only one negative that I can think about the steak, that it doesn't have a great crust. Let's try out the other one, yeah? This crust is way better. Cheers. 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 Mmm, wow. I mean, I've never had this combo together, and it's so good. The main flavor that I really get as soon as you take a bite is blast of thyme flavor, and that combo with the beef flavor is just really, really good, and it's an amazing steak. Whatever this red sauce is, top 10. That is super good. It's got a little bit of the spice to it. It's got a little bit of a garlic flavor to it. It is so perfect with this steak. To say the truth, both plates were good. Yep. This plate is different. For me, guys, this is it. Yeah. I have to agree with you, that's my winner. But yeah, this is my winner. <laughs> there's, there's no way that this loses. <laughs> Seriously? You gotta be kidding. <gasps> is that a 12? Look at that. An oven. Ooh. How am I gonna get a crust on an oven? Whoa! <laughs> For the final round, we got right here a Japanese Wagyu A5 filet mignon. We got a Japanese A5 ribeye. And we're gonna cook this in the microwave? That's nuts. I'm just gonna go a little bit of salt and pepper. Now we're gonna square the piece. Try to remove some of that extra fat that we don't need for the microwave. We don't need any fat for the microwave. <laughs> it's already enough fat. <laughs> so my plan here is to actually put it in broil. All right, so now let's get this in the microwave safe dish. <laughs> so in it goes. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh man, hopefully this is gonna work. Okay. Google microwave. Good, I can't even see the steak. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Okay, here goes nothing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't even see it, it's already hot. It's raw, bro. Hey, forget this, man. We're gonna do what we have to do to win. Keep an eye on Google, make sure he's not looking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a little bit of a crouton, and for that, I'm making a little garlic butter. Two days old bread goes into the bowl, followed by the butter. Okay, that's perfect. Don't make it look too sear because in the end, we're not gonna be able to fool him, you know? No, no, I agree with you. A little bit of butter don't hurt nobody. Into a tray, and in the oven, it goes to toast. Take this baby out, let it rest a little bit right there. Got my croutons ready, and I'll be honest with you, I don't want it too crunchy. I don't want anybody to take a bite and, you know, break their teeth and their mouth. 
is just crunchy enough. So we put some shiitake mushrooms in a pan with some shallots, stir it up, get it turning. For the sauce, I got a little bit of Greek yogurt, some cream cheese, tiny bit of horseradish, some salt. So this is a secret sauce right now. One spoonful of fig jam. Black pepper and dill. And we blend it in the food processor. And that's it. Sauce is done. Okay, I'm gonna cut some slices because we're gonna build a toast with the A5s. So that's the main idea. I'm a little bit worried, everybody. This is some sad crust. Mushrooms are done and we're taking them off the heat. Let's slice the bread now. You gotta be careful because we want it to keep the shape. And that's all we're gonna get because the last thing you wanna do with the steak is to overcook it. We're toasting the bread in the pan, right where the Wagyu fat. That is a sad, sad crust. The bread's all toasted, now time to assemble. That is one of the sorriest filet mignon I've ever cooked. Let's slice it. Mushrooms first. It's cooked to medium rare. I mean, take a look at it. Some Wagyu on top. Now we plate. And now we put the capers. And this is our take on a Japanese A5 ribeye in the microwave. And that is my take of a Japanese Wagyu A5 filet mignon in a toaster oven. The finale has come. Now we have two dishes to decide who the champ is. All right, go ahead and pick which one we start with then. I'm gonna go for this one. All right. Ooh, all right, this one looks super interesting. I cannot wait right to try there. it. Cheers. 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 Wow. That's not bad right there. Some sweet, some salty. The one thing I will say is that the steak itself is not really the star. The other elements of it are the main star of the show. It's good. Let's move on. Damn, that thing sounds that crunchy. crunchy. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh, man. I don't need a second bite. That's it. You get so much steak. The croutons are really nice, add a nice textural balance. That sauce is incredible. It's perfectly medium rare. The crispiness of the croutons is ridiculous how perfect it is. Now that we've tried both of the dishes, we've both given our feedback on both of the dishes. It's time to decide. Who does everybody think won? Angel. I'm going with this dish, it's amazing. Kate. I mean, I already said it, right there. Same thing here, guys. I'm going with this. Damn, third three dish. unanimous decisions today on Google Foods, guys. The results are in, everybody. I won today, gentlemen. What do you guys got to say? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> to the real deal, the important thing here, Wagyu for life. <laughs> I didn't say whose life. Wait, what? No, I didn't say whose life. I just said Wagyu for life. What do you mean? Whose life? A cat has nine lives. Yeah, you didn't read the small letter. Yeah. Wait, what? Small, small print. print. Small yeah. print on the bottom. Oh well.